was your first real who was your first real influence on hip hop on repeat? The song was on repeat or the album was on repeat. On repeat. That got you pulled into it. Mm. One of them for me mm. was Criss Cross. Mm. I'm, I was young at the time. One of them was me, Criss Cross. They first, I, I didn't forget the name of the album, but the shit would jump, jump on it, warm it up, Chris. I'm about <clears> to. <throat> warm it up, Chris. That's what I was born to do. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a hard question. Because I. MC was definitely my, one of my favorite groups. If you're going back that, that far, I could say Biz Marquis. This is King of Rock days. This is not like 80s. This is like King of Rock. When was King of Rock? Uh, that was like the early 90s. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm, the King I'm the King of Rock. rock. There is no higher. No, the album was called King of oh, Rock. Oh, see? <laughs> yeah, 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 my bad. I thought you were talking that. about that way. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's the only thing that came to my mind. Yeah. <laughs> but they use that. They, and, you talking about the, I'm the hip, the hip and the hop nah, type of rhyming, right? Nah, but it was Run DMC. <laughs> oh, you see, I switched that shit up. <laughs> That's when hard. it was writing rhymes on scrolls and shit. Yeah. <laughs> For me, that's a hard question. You know what I'm saying? Because I had an so, album. I had an album on repeat, but I was introduced to hip hop prior. But I didn't have an album on repeat. So, what was the first album you had on repeat? Then let's let's let's. My first real heavy rotation album, you know, was the Blueprint. Hell no! Mm. Nah, yeah, it That's wasn't. It wasn't the blue. It was. That's it was amazing. reasonable nah, doubt. Reasonable doubt. I'm sorry. I'm a little tipsy. Yeah. It was reasonable doubt. You put that me was on, on to that. That was on. I didn't heavy, even know we was, that was on to that. Heavy like every day before school, after school, yeah, da da da. Nah. What I was like thirteen, maybe. That was heavy rotation. It was maybe thirteen, but like I said, I was introduced to. Muse hip hop before that and like certain yes. songs like I fucked with Kung G rap I fucked mm -hmm. with Eric B Ooh, yeah. Eric B you know what I'm saying him, I yeah. fuck with um EPMD what's the, what, yeah. what's the yeah I fucked yeah, with a lot yeah, of these yeah, people yeah. yeah see I'm so, going see, I'm going back to those days but like on repeat like continuous was the was um reasonable doubt the original continuous. though yeah, yeah like. Yeah. Cause it was it was different variations of reasonable doubt too. Mm -hmm. Was it? Mm -hmm. There was like it's like different sounds. Like that was the first one that I bought on tape, bro. Like I had gotcha. a tape, yeah. and then I got a CD, yeah. and then I used to play the CD. All that day. shit was bumping though. That shit was crazy, bro. That was life like after days. death was bumping. So I ain't gonna lie. I don't even remember. But that's what I'm saying. That like that's a real hard question. Mm -hmm. Like, what was your first album? That's really deep. You really first... gotta go back into the database. Yeah, I don't try know the first first album. I will tell you what, maybe uh, um, <laughs> Eric B and Rakim and yeah, Eric B and Rakim. The they was they was the, the group that said that told me uh, or maybe make my mind up that I wanted to rap. Mm. Mm. For me, I, it was Busta Rhymes. I can, I can do this. I Extinction. Level of it. That's the first album, right? Nah, I'm a little nah, tipsy. Nah, nah, I don't know. What was the first? What was the level of event is second album. Nah, that's, nah, that's when that's disaster late. strikes. That's like six. Yeah, that's late. That's like six, extinction seven. level event. What was the first Buster Brown's album? It was when disaster strikes. Nah, it was either extinction level event or when disaster strikes. Nah. Right? Ooh. Cause I had that shit on. I'm surprised I don't remember that shit. Nah, that wasn't it. See, that's, that's Blockbusters now. The Coming Pulse. On Disaster 97, Extinction Level 98. Oh, that definitely wasn't a you right then. Mm -hmm. What the hell was, was it? was another Extinction Level. This is probably the one I'm talking about. This is that's the most recent one. What, what's the, um, what was his first album then? The Coming. The oh. Coming. Pulse. The Coming was oh, my oh. shit. This one, this the cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, when disaster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, the coming, the coming. Then was that that that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that yeah, yeah. cover right there was the one. I remember that. Yeah, so that was yeah. the one that got me interested in ramen. I'm like, all right, let me yeah, fuck with I it. I don't know, I don't know, because because it was so many different kinds of rap back then. I, I mean, make sure you know, everything remains raw. Like so, yeah, I'm saying. Um, fucking, um, it was a lot. It was, it was a, a lot, lot of artists. different people, yo. It was a lot of artists. And Positive K. It wasn't just one thing. Positive K. I never even heard of that person. 
I got a man. What your man got to do with me? I got a man. I'm not oh, trying to song, hear that, though. see? That, that was the only song I heard from him, too. You know, then the brand new Tracy Lee, the brand you new know what I'm saying? Like, it was just so much different shit. I couldn't, I can't even put my... The Roots. One. Never do what they do. 